Welcome to Godlike's Porn. I'm Ben the Demon, and fuck me in the cunt. Yesterday, Orangina Dickfuck became the 45th president of the United States of America, as well as the main reason the Earth needed a beer. A mile away from the inauguration, violent protests were breaking out. Glass was smashed, pepper spray was used, trash cans were r rolled around. Uh, what are you doing? Is that a special anarchist technique? Like, is rolling a trash can code for a fuck fascism? Even the cops were probably like, You, stop that. You, stop that. You... What, what are you rolling a tra- that's fine, you do you. And by the way, you suck at rolling it too. Like half the thing immediately <laughs> pops open. That's so incompetent, I wanna call you Donald Trump. All right, so getting to the actual ceremony. Before Trump, uh, vice president and what Hitler jerks off to, Mike Pence was sworn in. And look at him, I, I mean, I, I would never support Mike Pence. I'd, I'd rather lick his smegma. But he looks fucking presidential. Compare that with that. Is this how you do it? Do I just put up my hand like this? Do, am I doing it right? You're just like an inch away from retard. And after that was the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Oh god, it's so white. It's so white. They're whiter than an albino in a snowstorm seeing all lives matter. They, they are white. I'm I'm so glad I'm not Mormon. All right, finally, here's the moment you've been, well, you know. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. <laughs> wait, 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 it's John? People always say Donald J. Trump, Donald J. Trump. I, I, I just assumed the J was for jizz face. It's John, the, the most white male name ever, but all right. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Yeah! Help me, God, help me. I, I need fucking help. I, I can't do this for four years. I just can't do it. After that, Emperor Pumpkin Patch made his little speech. You know, the one he apparently wrote by himself inside the Great Gatsby's vagina. Today, we are not merely transferring power from one administration to another or from one party to another, but we are transferring power from Washington, D.C and giving it back to you, the people. Yes, Trump is giving back power to good old regular people. Like Wall Street banker Steve Mnuchin, or Wall Street banker Steve Bannon, or Wall Street banker Gary Cohen, or Wall Street banker Dina Powell, or Wall Street banker Anthony Scaramucci. You know, just good old regular people. All right, you know what? I I'm in a good mood. I mean, I mean, I'm not, but, but they're smart people. So, so let's move on. You came by the tens of millions to become part of a historic movement the likes of which the world has never seen before. Well, we've seen it before. All right, we're, we're moving on. We will bring back our borders. We will bring back our wealth. And we will bring back our dreams. I have a dream where you're not president. Can we bring that dream back, please? When you open your heart to patriotism, there is no room for prejudice. It's time to remember that old wisdom our soldiers will never forget, that whether we are black or brown or white, we all bleed the same red blood of patriots. And you know who in particular should remember that old wisdom? Huh? Huh? I'll give you a hint. He's got really small hands and his face looks like a Cheeto's diarrhea. Anyway, after all that, he ends up with this. Together, we will make America great again. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you. Um, the, I mean, fuck it. He won, you know? He can do that. I, uh, you know, I, I don't have much else to say or anything that hasn't been said by people smarter and more informed than me. It's gonna be a rough four years for everyone, including, I mean, right now they probably don't realize it, but including most Trump supporters who, in a sense, unwittingly voted against their interests. But you know, it, it's, what can we do? We're all struggling and sad and lost, and sometimes when you're in so much pain, you, you, you just have to do something, like smoke a joint or slate your wrist or vote for Trump. We do dumb shit all the time because we're, we're, we're irrational and, and we're people. I think we can protest and act and all that stuff, but sometimes all we can do is hope. Just hope that Trump will do all right and that the people Trump has hired won't do or say stupid things. Right, Energy Secretary nominee Rick Perry? Thank you so much for coming into my office. Um, did you enjoy meeting me? I, uh, I hope you were as much fun on that dais as you were on your couch. Uh, well. <laughs> may, may I rephrase that, sir? Please. 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 Oh, my Lord. <laughs> we're fucked. The girls and the boys.